I don't like the word at all. But it, 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 I don't know. It feels like when when a black person is using it towards another black person, it's the same. How is it not still a derogatory like word? Right? I understand that kids shouldn't be taping necessarily their their fellow students or their teachers. But in this instance, how dare they um, punish her? First of all, Sonny needs to shut up. Sonny thinks there's no consequence anytime race is attached to it. Oh, you could do whatever. In this video, we're going to talk about a teacher that was fired for using the N word. And then a school that suspended the kid that actually taped the whole conversation. Well, actually, it wasn't the whole conversation. But the view was talking about it. And normally, I will be so irritated by the view, but actually Whoopi Goldberg said something that made actual sense. So we're going to react to this video and then put in the comment section, let me know what you think. Do you think that this teacher was malicious about saying the N-word or do you think he was actually inquiring? Like, why can't I use this word? A 15-year-old student in Missouri was suspended for taping her geometry teacher who had joined a conversation that was not geometrical. <laughs> Watch. I don't like the word at all, but it, 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 I don't know, it feels like when, when a black person is using it towards another black person, it's the same, how is it not still a derogatory like word? Derogatory, but, uh, I, don't, I don't know, I don't get it. I mean, I kind of... Slave owners used to call me that, so it's just like a... And is the word not allowed to... Okay, I'm going to say right now, as a teacher, if you want to keep your job, this is in the first... I'm not, I'm not, I'm not calling anyone. I understand. I can say the word. It's not. Oh, but you're way. No. So, what's interesting? There's a lot of there's a lot of questions about all of this. When did the conversation start, and why were they having this conversation in geometry class? Yeah. But it was a whole other thing. But uh, the question is, was she unfairly punished because she was suspended? And, and the fun. teacher also has been suspended for having this conversation and saying the he, n-word. He resigned. He resigned. He resigned. Oh, he, was, oh, yeah. he resigned. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wasn't suspended. <laughs> That's why I need to write. He was put on administrative leave, and yeah. then, he, and then he, he chose to resign. But I, I have to tell you, I mean, he should have just stuck to, like, talking about acute angles and triangles and things like that <laughs> and not gotten involved in this. It's not the children's position or place to teach him about racism and teach him about the n-word. Um, if he wanted to learn more about it, maybe he should have gone to the superintendent of schools, maybe he should have gone to the principal. But a teacher pressing a child about that issue, I think, is so inappropriate on so many levels. And had she not taken a video of it, um, it would have been sort of teacher's word and against her word. And I don't think that's appropriate. There's well, there always a bunch an of students. There are a bunch of students, yeah, and that's always an, a whistleblower exception. I understand that kids shouldn't be taping necessarily their, their fellow students or their teachers. But in this instance, how dare they um, punish her for really, in effect, it, in my view, is being a whistleblower? Well, I don't think, um, I think the punishment, like, I, I... First of all, Sonny needs to shut up. Okay, I do not agree the teacher should have used that word. No, you shouldn't have used that word. If you wouldn't want to know more about the word, you shouldn't be asking your, your kids. Yeah, I, I totally agree with that. But for her to say teachers need to stay with uh, teaching geometry or whatever he's teaching and stick to that, you have some nerve. All, all of these people have some nerve because the video that I just made is about a teacher bringing sex books into the classroom. You guys get all up in arms about that. Oh, the, well, they're bringing in books. It's, it's, you can't have two mommies and all two parent daddies. Drags could read to children. You get all up in arms about that. And you're saying to this teacher, oh, stay on topic. It only works when you want it to work. Parents been telling teachers to stay on topic for years. 
for the last few years, we've been trying to get these parents or teachers to stay on topic. But no, they want to teach them about LGBTQ. But you get mad at this man because he's inquiring about, oh, why y'all using the N-word? Make it make sense. Like I said, I do not agree that this guy should have been asking about the N-word and using it. No, I, I did not. And if he was in a different school system, he probably would have got beat up by one of the kids for using the N-word. So I do not agree that he should be using the N-word. But for you to say, oh, he should stick with geometry. Okay, what about the parents telling the teachers stick with teaching the kids reading, math, and language arts? Just regular stuff, not LGBTQ. What about that? It only fits, it only works when you want it to work. Oh, they only supposed to teach when you want them to teach. When you get offended, oh, stick stick with your subject matter. And when parents get offended, oh, parents shouldn't have any say for with what their kids should learn. Like I said, you got some damn nerve. Punishment is what it is. I think that's a moment that I would be really empowering my child to realize that they have to really trust that gut instinct when something doesn't feel right and do that. But in life, they're going to head out of school and I'm not going to be able to call the school or the college or wherever they're living and fix it for them. So they also have to know there are consequences. That's why not everyone is a leader. That's not why everyone, people don't always stand up. I'd want my child to know you did the right thing. I'm so proud of you, but sometimes there are consequences. So she so should you, be suspended in your I'm case? not, if I were designing the rule, I would not have given her that. But as the parent, I would say, okay, it is what it is. I'm not wasting time with these people. You would I'm fight an, this? I, I don't You would have a, a suspension on your child's record for being a Yeah, whistler? well, great suspension. They could write a college essay on because this was important and it mattered. And yeah. to me, I want, I, I, I would not, I would not allow that. Well, all I think is I'm here as a parent to make my kids resilient and this world is going to beat yeah. the crap out of them. It's not going to protect them. It's not going to bubble. It's not going to sugarcoat and it's not giving them safety nets. I think it's so I'm going to teach them to be ready for that and how to handle their own lives. And Sonny, shut the hell up. There are consequences to your action. Just like that guy quit because he said the N word and he knew he, he was wrong. At, and he probably didn't know it was wrong at the time, but somebody said, hey, dude, you shouldn't be saying the N-word. You have no reason to say it. It doesn't matter if you understand it. You have no reason to say it. So he had consequences to his action. And this this child, being a teenager, she has consequences to, to her action. Probably, number one, they don't probably allow phones in the classroom. Your phone probably should be shut off in the classroom and it's probably illegal to record another person without their consent. So there are consequences to your action. Okay, she's a whistleblower. Me and my husband, we tell my kids, don't let your kids bu bully you. If somebody hits you, you hit them back. Yeah, you're going to get suspended, but you have hell to pay if you let somebody beat you up. Yeah, you'll, you'll get suspended, but that's one suspension we have to, you just don't let nobody beat you up. Now words, we don't care about words. We don't, we don't teach our kids words doesn't mean anything, but if you let somebody physically assault you, you better physically assault them back because nine times out of 10, they're going to keep on doing it unless you stand up for yourself. That's what we teach our kids, but. We always say, you know you might get in trouble, but don't worry about that. You won't be in trouble with us. There's consequences to your action. And Sonny Host, oh, I wouldn't let my kid get punished for that. There are consequences to your actions. And this is the problem with our kids today. We let them think Everything is a unicorns, butterflies, and fruit loops and rainbows. And it's not. That's not how the world works. Just like the young man with Jordan Neely. He restrained him. And subsequently, he ended up killing the guy. The guy ended up dying. So they charged him with involuntary manslaughter. There's consequences to his action. They're trying to pay him like he's a cold-blooded killer. No. He just restrained the guy, but it's consequences to actions. 
And that's why kids are running around here acting like there are no consequences to their action. Because you got parents like Sonny Holston thinking it's okay that your kid is all good. Oh, my kid, because of the N, because of the N word, people, because of the N word. Because the guy said the N word. He was questioning the N word. So your kid shouldn't have consequences because somebody said a racial slur. So every time somebody say a racial slur, we could do stuff to them. Is that, is that what we're teaching our kids? But that's what Sonny's teaching hers. She's teaching her that, oh, you felt wrong. So whatever your actions was, it was already, it was substantiated. And that's incorrect. And then she's, I forget what this young lady name, she's talking shit about her. Who the hell are you saying that's bad? That's how she's raising her kid. And she's raising her kid to be responsible, number one. And it's a doggy dog world. You're not going to agree with everybody. So you just going to act out when you don't agree with people? It, that doesn't make sense. Well, you know, it might have helped if the kids were paying attention to what he was teaching. They started this conversation. Mm -hmm. He turned around and said, well, what is going on? Why, why are you saying this? There's a whole bunch of, for me, there's, this is problematic. Mm -hmm. Because A, I want to know who was having the conversation before you started filming. Where did the conversation start? Some children were, were, were discussing yes. okay. it. So why didn't she include them in the, in the video? I think she just started taping when the teacher right, inserted but if, himself. But if this, comp, but if it's a compass, but if they are all, if these kids are using the N word, why weren't they included in this? I don't look at her so much as a whistleblower. I look at this as one of those moments where a teacher says, "Okay, well, I have this question. You know, we had we used to have this conversation every couple of months on this show, because mm -hmm. Barbara would pose that same question. Well, why can't I say it? I said, "Well, go ahead and do it." See what happened. <laughs> people want to know. They said, well, well, I should be able. I say, you can say it. Yeah. <laughs> My position has always you know? been that it's a word. I know that a, a lot of folks in the African American community believe that by using it, they're reclaiming that word. Right. I don't have that belief. My right. belief is that it should not be used because it's a racial slur by anyone. But the mm -hmm. fact of the matter is, I maintain that this teacher should have stuck to acute angles and triangles. Well, but you're wrong. Sonny, if your kids, if you have kids in the classroom and they having a sideboard conversation, hey, in this, hey, in that, and the teacher interject, why are we using this word? I don't like the word. I think it's offensive. Can I use the word? Then that that's what you, that's what uh, Whoopi Goldberg, and I'm surprised I'm actually agreeing with her ass, but that's, that's what she's saying. So what are you what are you talking about? Just ignore the conversation and the sidebar conversation and them using in this, in that, or whatever, disrupting the class. Actually, you're talking during the classroom, number one, during geometry class. Just go on and go about your day and act like they not talking. Yeah, teachers are there to teach. But they need to tell kids when they're acting in a unacceptable behavior. Sonny thinks there's no consequence. Anytime race is attached to it, oh, you could do whatever. Oh, you have no, you have no right to talk about uh, race or say the N-word, which, which you don't. Say the N-word when you are a geometry teacher, but you, you're disrupting my class, so I'm gonna say something about it. We don't know because we don't know what else. We don't have all the context. We only have pieces, and so, like I said, the guy shouldn't have been using the N word. I don't know how old he was, so maybe he doesn't have any common sense. Some people just don't have common sense. I don't think he said it maliciously. I think he was really inquiring, like, oh, why can I use it? And some people, if they haven't been around black people, they will have those type of questions.
oh, he's in in a well urban school, and now there's a bunch of black kids there, maybe mixed because it seemed like it was some white kids because the white one of the white kids was saying, oh, if you want to keep your job, you shouldn't say it, you know. And he ended up resigning. So that was a teachable moment for him. But it's also a teachable moment for the young lady. And then now you're putting, like Whoopi said, you're putting little snippets in. What are you, what's the purpose of that? You snipped in the back, back end of the conversation, but you're not snipping in the front end of the conversation. And maybe she just like, oh, this is something good. Let me get this on camera because the teacher's about to, I don't like him, so I'm about to get him fired anyway. That's how I think about when kids do stuff like that. Well, the, you know, you're a teenager. You know you shouldn't be using that word. Kids use their word all the time, be cussing, out, cussing around um, amongst themselves and using derogatory language amongst themselves. But when the adult come around, they they don't use it. But apparently... They don't have enough respect for this teacher not to talk like that in front of it. And he said, hey, you shouldn't be using that word. It's a derogatory word. Let me know what you think. That was the end of our video. I'm sending all my good to you. I will talk to you soon.